Hey everybody, I'm Sad Dragoon, uh, and what I have here is a PSA return. Um, there's three cards in here, uh, and I also have an auction that I won off of eBay. So I kind of tore the label off this white box and covered up on this one. But I have three cards in this order, so a little bit about this order is I already know what the, the grades are. But my friend, Delta Zard, he wanted me to make a channel. He thought it'd be really cool to show people the cards that I get back and things like that. And so I said, okay, I'll, I'll make one. So in this box, I have three cards. I sent this box off. I had to look it up because I forgot. It was such a long time ago. But this order went off left my house August 3rd, 2020, and we're in the middle of March now, so that's what, September, October, November, December, uh, what, about nine months ago? Eight or nine months ago, so yeah, that's, it's, it's been pretty crazy. I know PSA's backed up, but it's been, it's this is about as bad as it gets. So I, I haven't opened these boxes. Uh, until right this second, but I just, I cut both of them so that they'd be easier to open on camera. So anyway, let's take that paper. It's got a bunch of personal information on it. Okay, so I wanna take the back side out first. Man, I haven't seen these cards in such a long time. Okay, so I know what the cards are and I know what the grades are. I just don't know the order. I think I know what this one is. It's, here, I won't ruin it for you. Let me just flip it over. Yeah, that's what I figured. It looked like a, a six. Yeah, so normally I'd be able to um, remember like what I paid for the card and um, you know, be able to tell you how much money I made. But since I sent these cards off, what, August 3rd and bought them, you know, a long time before that, it was, it's kind of hard to remember exactly what I paid for. I remember this one. Um, I spent about a thousand dollars on nine, uh, Wizards of the Coast Charizard cards. And this was one of the cards that was in there. So this is about $500 or so, give or take. It's hollow first edition, a uh, dark Charizard from Team Rocket set. It is the most expensive card from Team Rocket, so it's a very nice card. Uh, so yeah, $500 um, when I paid 1,000 for nine. Um, in the group there were this dark Charizard, a base two Charizard, and then seven base set Charizards. So all the other Charizards are still off at PSA. This is the first one to come back from almost a year ago. Okay, let's see what this one is. Usually when cards come back, they got a lot of that trash, cardboard trash on them. So if you see something, it's usually just that and not something that's actually in the case. They do a pretty good job of cleaning all the dust out before they seal it. Okay, yeah, I remember this one. This one was a collection I bought for about 1500 and it had a ton of Shadowless cards. And this one, I believe this one was the only one that was first edition uh, and Shadowless. All the rest of them were, there's a ton of Shadowless cards. I actually got a uh, no damage nine tails i graded that at um bgs also but that's a story for another day so yeah this one got an eight this one's about a thousand bucks for this card so paying 1500 for there was probably 30 shadowless hollows in it um which this one was also one of the ones that was in it so i'll show you that in a second but yeah a thousand dollars for one card there's a piece of dust right there That's a smudge. Um, I could wipe that off later. 
Yeah, beautiful card. I remember this one being off center. I don't remember. Yeah, I guess it's a little bit off center uh, on the right side versus the left, but they're more lenient on the back being off center than the front. Well, the front's off center also, so. Looks like there's a little bit of scratches on the hollow. So probably between that and the off-centered front and white spots on the edges and corners and things. That's why it got an eight, but I honestly thought it was gonna get a seven, so I'm happy with that. And the last card, a Shadowless Blastoise got a seven. See, there's a cardboard dust on there. <laughs> This one looks a little bit worse than the Gyarados as far as scratches on the hollow. So you can kind of see it when I put it at the right angle. But yeah, this one is actually my favorite Pokemon of, of all time. It's the one I chose, chose uh, Squirtle on Pokemon Blue back in 98. Um, in so yeah, I'm really happy with this one. So if you don't already know, I have an eBay store uh, where I sell PSA cards. I've been doing that um, off and on, mostly on for almost 10 years now. I started it around 2012. So yeah, this is not my first submission. It's actually around the 80th one, I think. I can go back and look, but anyway. First one I've done on video for you guys. All right, so this, um, it's an auction, someone's collection I bought off of eBay, as you can see. And there was a, a card that I could um, see on the very last picture. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until I pull it out, hopefully it's what I'm thinking it is. But when you zoom in on the card, it was, Kind of blurry, so I wasn't 100% sure if it was what I was thinking it was. But basically, it's an error card that if it really is the error card, then it, it goes from being about a $10, $15 card to potentially being thousands of dollars, depending on the condition, uh, PSA graded. So anyway, uh, okay, so I haven't opened this up cards look to be a little bit played with, um, which is not a good thing, but yes, let's get in there and look. Well, I'll just tell you, it's a dark Dragonite that I'm looking for. So these look to all be leaf and fire, so I'm not really going to go into much detail on all these cards. Oop, hit the camera. Yeah, these are definitely played with, which is not good. There's a hollow Nido King. Um, ooh, hate to see those creases. But if this card is what I was hoping it would be, then it doesn't really matter the condition on anything else because it's, ooh, those are nice. Two holographic dark Charizards then it doesn't really matter what else is in here because that more than makes up for the cost of everything else. Yeah, these cards are pretty rough. Not even gonna lie. Okay. So I'm seeing some colorless cards, so hopefully. I know there were do, two dark charge, uh, I'm sorry, two dark Dragonites. There's a hollow one. And there's the other one. So let's see if there's another one that I'm missing.
So yeah, bad news guys, it's a, it's a holographic. So the error is on the Dark Dragonite from Team Rocket. Uh, the error is the card is non-hollow like this one on the left, but the number says five of 82. So I saw this five of 82 and just the way the light hit it, it looks just like a non-hollow, but that's okay. Um, this one's still a good card. Is it gradable? Maybe. There's no creases. It's not in the best of condition. It would probably get, if I graded it, it would probably get a six, which is still probably a hundred dollars, uh, maybe more. And plus there's uh, a couple dark Charizards. This one's actually not that bad of shape. So this one might get a seven or eight, which is a few hundred bucks itself. So, I mean, as you can see on the back, there's not much whitening going on on the edges. So um, I knew it would still, the, the collection would still make good money, but it just, you know, I wasn't sure if it was going to be really good money or like record breaking um, thousands of dollars from an error card, which it wasn't. That's okay. So anyways, that's all I have to show you guys. Thank you for watching uh, my first video. Bye.